Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Nalanda and today I'm doing a little bit of arts and crafts. I definitely wanna do more creative stuff in addition to obviously like my vlog and like lifestyle content on my channel. And today what I'm doing is this little paper theater paper craft from House of Castle. So I believe this is a Japanese product, but I actually got it when I was in Korea. It cost me 18,000 and 200 won, which is probably about 15 bucks at the time. I got it actually right at the um, Kiki Cafe I went to. Uh, I think something I would like to do more often is actually what I'm going to call craft and chat. So basically I'll work on some type of craft project by kind of just talking to you, you know? I think it'll be fun and relaxing. If you're working on a crafting project, it's something nice to have in the background to be like, oh, we're doing this together, you know? All right, so let's see how this goes. I will be honest, I'm a little worried mainly because my fingers aren't the best when it comes to details and like small objects. And like, do you see all of these? Like, what? Like, look at fun, pretty flowers. I'm hoping that this will be easy because obviously there is instructions. I can't do things on my own. Like I need guidance. So we'll see. We'll put this to the side so I can <laughs> see it later, because I will definitely need it. So the scene that it depicts is a very um, classic scene from the film. Basically how it picks Sophie up in the beginning of the film and takes her on a little like flight journey and it's really sweet. And Howl's Moon Castle is one of my like favorite Ghibli films. It, you don't need me to tell you this, but they're all really beautifully done animation wise and they're just so sweet and I love, I love anime, I love like cartoons, I love animation. So this is just one of the stories that means a lot to me personally. These pieces, I'm like afraid to mess them up. <laughs> I have my other tools needed, which are a utility knife, tweezers. This one might help me poke out things, I guess, if I need it. I don't know. I feel like I'm at like a dentist's office, to be honest, with like my tools sitting by, ready to like clean your teeth. And then I have glue. So I've actually never used this glue before. It's almost like a whiteout pen or paint pen. So basically I assume you just squeeze and the glue comes out the tip over here. Hopefully, yeah, there you go. Let me practice on this glue. Like, oh, oh, it comes out blue. I get, oh, okay. Oh, this seems pretty easy to use. I kind of want this to be a more casual video, but I'll be honest, I tried to film something earlier this week and it was very chaotic. Like it was just very sporadic and didn't, it didn't really flow well because I couldn't focus on either the project or like talking about what I wanted to talk about. And so my stories got kind of jumbled up and I realized, I realized like the, the conversation I was trying to have really went nowhere. Obviously this is already kind of like a one-sided conversation, even though I, I feel like you guys are listening to me, right? But I feel like I didn't really complete a lot of thoughts properly. So I might do a little bit of both where I, where I talk in real time here and do a voiceover. So if there is a difference in audio quality, that's probably why. But anyway, let's get started. I'm like trying to read the directions and like understand them real quick. Um, basically, I think we're making six panels. And so we'll start with one panel at a time and then you glue them together using these like joint pieces or something. So all these cards here have numbers on them, which is good because obviously I will need the assistance. So this is going to be the frontmost card. There's a number one in the corner. And, it, and then there are pieces like this that also say one, right? So therefore, you know, they go together. Let me see if there's anything else. So these pieces here, are the like six panels and they're numbered. So basically one is at the front and then six is in the back. And then you build, you build each panel with all the other pieces. So let's start on one. These have flowers on them for the front of one. So we're gonna pop those out. I guess this is where the utility knife comes in. I'm like already afraid. <gasps> okay. Okay. So I feel like I could probably just push these out, but I just don't wanna rip them. Again, I'm not the most gentle person, but we'll see. Then again, I'm like actually very impatient, so. Feels a little easier that if I just kind of cut one of the connections, it gives me enough grip that I can just kind of like pull it out. Okay, 
so. I grouped them off the way the instructions say to. So I can pop off this one as well. Basically instructions are telling me to layer. So I would do grid the green first like this, pink of this one on top of here, like this. And the blue goes on top of here. It's almost like if you were to do things with um, like your Cricut or a die cut or something so you can add like different dimensions and stuff to it. Okay, let's glue it on. I'm already afraid. <laughs> like look at all the little like cuts in these to make sure like glue doesn't glob out and stuff or look crazy. And as you can see too, um, my little squig line is started to dry clear, which is great. I like that it's blue so I can see it and then I'll dry clear. All right, oh, gosh. This is probably why the tweezers are supposed to come in handy so you can do like this and put it on exactly where you need to go. But I like have shaky hands. Is the best method to like glue the base and then put the pieces on top? Or should I put the glue on the like layering pieces? I don't know, this is all trial and error for me. The ballpoint like has to make actual contact with everything in order for the glue to like actually come out. It doesn't matter how it comes out. We're just here to have a good time, okay. Okay, where let's sweep this way, so let's see. Wait, what? Oh yay, okay, now I see. Okay. Me, yeah. Oh yeah. Oh she's nice, she's cute, okay. One piece down. This is definitely a much better angle for everyone. Now let's add this one. Okay, all right, now I put on one piece, but now I feel like I got the hang of it. So today is Friday, St. Patrick's Day. That's why, you know, every girl got some green on. So I went to Michael's this morning and I actually ended up getting a lot of cool stuff. There were some really great sales and I'm excited. Something I've been meaning to work on this year is to do some more scrapbooking and like, I'm gonna use the term creative journaling. I have a lot of mementos from old events, like, you know, concerts and stuff and just like conventions and stuff like that, festivals, I don't know, stuff that, I, um, events I have gone to throughout the years. Ooh, that came out like, blah. I'd love to utilize the mementos I have to make like cool scrapbook pages or something. And I have like, especially a lot of stuff recently from like the BTS things I've done and gone to and blah, blah, blah. And so I would love to make um, like a BTS specific scrapbook journal type thing. Okay, I definitely need to be careful with using this piece of paper, just because if I get anything on here, it's going to rip it up for sure. But okay, now we're going to place this. No, oh, okay, this way. Right, okay. Okay, right? I'm definitely feeling better now. Like this is, it looks like it's coming together. <laughs> Originally the video I had filmed this week was me doing a couple of scrapbook pages for um, my cousin's baby shower and like the Mama Moo concert I went to. And unfortunately I didn't pay attention and um, I didn't realize I, my camera had died on me. So the footage isn't great because it kind of cuts off. But also I didn't really think about what I wanted to do exactly in terms of like journaling and scrapbooking and stuff. I really wanna be more creative and do more like art stuff this year. I would like to actually utilize my um sketchbook as a sketchbook and like learn to draw better. I'm gonna put this here. This one I can do with my fingers, so I'm okay with that. Like, okay. Look how freaking cute. Yay. It's coming out so nice. I, I put three pieces on it and I'm already impressed with myself. <laughs> I would love to do live streams of just working on scrapbooking stuff or like, you know, creative journaling. Cause ideally I would probably do that on like a Sunday morning or Sunday afternoon or something, you know, where it's like, basically the idea would be that we could spend like a lazy Sunday together. Maybe you want to work on art too, or maybe you have another type of project or you know, you're cleaning your room or doing laundry or something, or maybe you're just in your bed and like enjoying being able to like wake up late cause it's Sunday, but whatever it is, in my head, I would stream working on my art journal. Oh, did you see that? <laughs> All right. 
and also doing like a live stream of working on my art journal scrapbook thing. It would definitely take away a lot of pressure to like make sure things are perfect. Cause you know, I'd be working in real time and like there's just a certain level of like casualty to it at that point, which I really would enjoy. I think it'd also be a nice way to interact with anyone who's watching as well. But anyway, so if that interests you, please look forward to that. Um, I don't know if it'll be like a regular thing, but I would definitely like to start. Especially because I've been watching like journaling content and like K-pop journaling content and stuff and people come up with such creative ideas and like they're so organized with it. But I think for me, I'm definitely not like an organized or theme person. I kind of just do what I want. I don't think it'll be, it'll follow any type of specific order. Like a lot of people will do things like chronologically for the year or like with each like comeback and stuff for like artists, but that's like a lot. So I don't know if I'll do that or maybe I will every once in a while. But this all stems from the fact that I just have like mementos and stuff. And like, even for like BTS, I have a lot of like freebies and cup sleeve stuff that I just don't want to sit there. I actually want to like do something with it, you know? Look, and there we have it, y'all. That is panel number one. Yay. Okay, so I'm gonna set this aside and work on the next panel. It's pretty much just a filler almost. Like it doesn't actually need require work. So let me pull that out of there. So the stuff inside here needs to be pulled out for other frames. And number two is just like this as it is. I think I'm supposed to just have Sophie in here. I don't know, I've been in a good mood lately. Me doing a lot of stuff that I really enjoy, such as, you know, making videos and like going to concerts. I have quite a few in my book right now. Really like diving back into anime. It just makes me really happy. I don't, I feel like these are things I like to do for pure joy. I just found uh, another blue rose, which means I forgot to add something to the front. So let me do that very quickly before I move on to here. Anyway, so yesterday I went to a listening party at Newberry Comics because they had it for Fall Out Boy's new album that comes out next week. When I went there, I had a really good time. It was really nice to just actively listen to music and obviously being with other people who were really excited about the album as well. It was definitely very nostalgic for me because I used to do a lot of this type of stuff when I was younger, like in high school and college and, and whatnot. Like, you know, I've seen All Time Low and like the main perform at Newberry Comics and stuff for like promo. And connecting with people over like common interests is always fun, obviously. I'm trying to figure out if I can go to see Mama Moo in Chicago as well, because um, when Mama Moo comes to New York, which would be the closest date for me, I'll actually be in Oakland for um, the August detour. So I'm trying to figure out if I can go to see Mama Moo in Chicago. Cause Mama Moo is like my favorite girl K-pop group. I just think they're all so freaking talented, like vocally and just they sing live and it's amazing. But yeah, and I have one friend who lives in Chicago as well. And so it'd be really nice to see her too. And something that's made me really happy recently too is that in terms of like video content, I didn't realize that my um, How I Made My Birthday Dress video was going to be more popular than any of my other videos. Um, when I first put it up, I didn't think it'd get many views at all just because it's like a longer video and I feel like it's not like a tutorial, you know what I mean? It's just like, this is what I'm doing and this is where I'm effing up and <laughs> if you would like to follow along, please do. Like follow along for the ride, not don't follow me in terms of like how to do things. But somehow it gained some traction and obviously a few more of you guys have found me and have subscribed to me. So I really appreciate that. I wanna say hello to all of, of the new people who have found my channel. I appreciate you spending the time with me. But I do believe I am gonna have a like DIY sewing type of video coming out maybe in a month or so. I would very much like to work on a cosplay for Anime Boston, which is soon. I'll definitely have more than a week to do it, but just kind of figuring out the logistics and also like trying some new techniques that I've never done before. This like cosplay I've had in my head for years, like it's a crossover cosplay and I'm really excited about it. So also today is the day that Jimin released his song Set Me Free ahead of his album that comes out next week. And oh my God, it was so freaking good. Like the whole concept, the symbolism in it. Oh, I'm obsessed. Uh, I done it up. Let's see how we're gonna fix this. I didn't realize there's a whole white layer here. Uh, okay, not loving that. Also, what's this number one piece here? <laughs> okay, I'm gonna come fix this stuff and I will come back. <laughs> so I added a little 
white dot into our first frame. Great. I was able to pull off Sophie's green dress. As you can see, it literally pulled off an entire layer of the brown piece and the back looks a little messed up here, but that's okay. What I was supposed to do was put this white one down first. And I knew it looked weird because basically when I was trying to put all the other pieces together, it was missing a piece of um, Howell's arm like, around her. And now it makes more sense. All right, back to business. It's hard for me to multitask on doing creative work like this, like creative crafting and stuff and talk and have an engaging conversation and also film a really good video. Like usually those are the three things I try to do and like, Two of them end up okay, and one of them usually ends up like shit. So either the project is crappy, or the conversation sucks, or like the video sucks. So I'm very confused. I think I just made another mistake. Okay, I don't think it's this green one that goes on here. I really do be struggling. Gosh, I need time to think about this and then I'll come back again. <laughs> okay, I figured it out again. I was working with the wrong arm piece. I found the correct one. So it does fit perfectly. Like it matches up where, you know, it makes sense to me, which is great. And then it does cover up this like gunky area too from when I had to do some correcting. But okay, so this is the front. Um, it looks okay. I think there's a couple of errors in the sense of like when I hold it up facing me. I think for the next two panels, I'll do them um, I'll do them kind of off camera or I'll do a, a speed through of them. So therefore I can like really focus. And then I will come back and put them all together in real time when I finish the rest of the panels. Okay, we have it, the final product. Look how pretty she is. I got them all to go on properly. I love that. I don't know if you can like, you obviously you can see it from the top how there's all that like texture and depth, but I don't think like flat on you can. But like, oh look, look, I'm really happy with them. I think it's so cute. It's gonna go on one of my like shelves for display and like, when you look at it, like I, I just love seeing all like the layers. You can see that like the background is much deeper. Oh, I love that. Like that's what I love about the layering of paper crafts. Like I freaking love how pretty it looks and it looks so intricate. I mean, you can still see some of like the glue area, the gluey areas where I messed up and had to pull things off. But like overall, it's really cute and I'm really happy. Like I would definitely do more things like this. I do enjoy this type of like detailed model work. I'm just not very like good at it. Just because, you know, the detail work is where I struggle a lot. And if I zoom out, you can see the rest of the mess here. <laughs> but thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.